This morning, Birmingham City Council reluctantly approved $2.5 million for the BJCTA. We have 315 employees. Um, I think that we all are committed to those efforts or uh, enhancing transportation. Uh, it's very crucial. But the bus funding came with plenty of debate. Councilor Hunter Williams asked how the authority could promise the money would be spent wisely. The answer was is that we fired our CFO and now we have a CPA working for us for four hours a day. Well, is that, uh, that's the answer. We're going to go through the proper procedure of getting a finance director um, somewhere along the line, which is my responsibility. Uh, we did not do that properly. Today, city councilors brought up the criminal background of the BJCTA's recently fired finance chief. Three years ago, Gary Collins and a former IRS agent pleaded guilty to tax fraud here inside federal court. Mr. Collins, why was he let go and was the BJCTA aware of his tax fraud conviction? Uh, I cannot come in on that matter right now. Today's funding was just a quarterly payment. Mayor Randall Woodfin is withholding the rest to make sure the BJCTA gets its act together. The chief of staff was fired, finance director was fired, finance director turns out to be a felon who's committed tax fraud and wire fraud. I mean, you know, I have legitimate concerns. Ruffin pledged to provide the proper transparency to earn the council's trust going forward. In Birmingham, John Papke, WVTM 13.